Hello everyone, this is Nihal and let us solve the first E question of paper 2 of Mathematics Optional of UPSC Civil Service Examination 2022. It says that use two-phase method to solve the following linear programming problem. It is a problem of minimization. So two-phase method is a part of a simplex method where artificial variables are eliminated in a separate phase and then uh, we optimize the solution in the next phase. So let us solve this problem. This is of minimization problem. So let us convert this to maximization. So maximization of Z star is equal to minus X1 minus X2. And this is subject to 2X1 plus X2 greater than equal to 4 and x1 plus 7 x4 greater than equal to 7 and x1 and x2 are non-negative variables. So let us convert this to a standard form. So maximization of z star is equal to minus x1 minus x2 and subject to 2x1 plus x2 and a surplus variable is uh, subtracted from this s1 is equal to 4 and x1 plus 7 x4 minus s2 is equal to 7 these s1 and s2 are surplus variable We can see that uh, these S1 and S2 does not form the basis. So we have to add artificial variable A1 and A2 to these two equations. So assign the cost 0 to S1 plus S0 S2. Now in the two phase method what we do is we minimize W is equal to minus A1 minus A2 and we will uh, have that this uh, minimum value is equal to 0 or we maximize A1 plus A2 and we find that uh, this maximum value is 0. So in this uh, two phase method, method let us begin to form the first table. Here C B, this is basis. In basis, these uh, two variable A1 and A2 will come, and their coefficient is minus one and minus one. C J is and base and these variable x1, x2, s1, s2, a1, a2, and these are 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 1 and minus 1. So the first table is 1, 7, minus 0, minus 1, 0 and 1. And B is uh, given as 4 and 7. So let us calculate ZJ which is minus 3, multi minus 1 multiplied by 2, minus 1 multiplied by 1 and minus 8. This is 1, this is 1, this is minus 1, this is minus 1. So we calculate CJ minus ZJ which comes out to be 3, 8, minus 1, minus 1, plus 1. This is 0, this is 0. So the maximum cj minus zj for that column and this period is 8 so the x2 will be incoming variable and we will find the ratio by dividing entries of b column by this entering variable column so this comes out to be 4 this is 7 by 7 is equal to 1 so outgoing variable will be that which have least positive theta value.
so this is outgoing variable this is key element so we have x2 is uh, incoming and a2 is outgoing variable so let us form the next table So this is a1, x2, which have 0, hcb, and this is minus 1. So now we will make key element as 1. So we will divide the second row by 7. So 1 by 7, this is 1, this is 0, this is minus 1 by 7, this is 0, this is 1 by 7. And these are x2, x1, x2 s1 s2 a1 and a2 and we will make the entry of the column of key element zero so we will subtract the second row from the first row by that we will get here zero and here we will get 2 minus 1 by 7 so this is 13 by 7 here we will get minus 1, this will be 1 by 7, this will be 1, and this is minus 1 by 7. And so we calculate Zz, which is minus 13 by 7, 0, 1, minus 1 by 7, and minus 1, 1 by 7. So we calculate Zj minus Cj, which is 13 by 7, 0, minus 1, 1 by 7, 0, minus 1 by 7. Here B will be we divide the 7 by 7 so this is 1 and this will be 3 so the highest value is uh, in of zj minus cj is 13 by 7 so this will be incoming variable and we calculate the ratio theta by dividing entries of b column by the entering variable column so which is uh, this comes out to be 21 by 13 this comes out to be 7 so this will be outgoing variable so the a1 is outgoing variable and x1 is incoming variable and 13 by 7 is the key element so for the next table x1 and x2 are in the basis 0 and 0 is there is coefficient in the objective function and x1 x2 s1 s2 a1 and a2 so this will become uh, we need to make this key element as one so we will multiply the first row by 7 by 13 so this will be 1 this is 0 this is minus 7 by 13 this is Mm, 1 by 13 this is 7 by 13 this is minus 1 by 13 and this will become 21 by 13 okay so we need to make the other element other elements of the key column as zero so we will divide the first row by seven and subtract from the second row of the previous table so this will become zero this comes out to be one this comes out to be one by 13 this comes out to be minus 14 by 13 this is minus one by 13 this is 14 by 13 and this is 10 by 13 so zz is 0 0 0 0 0 
and cj minus zj is equal to 0 0 0 and uh, for the these two variables minus 1 and minus 1 so all entries are non positive either 0 or negative so we have achieved optimality of the first phase so the first phase is complete artificial variable are out of basis so we can proceed to proceed to phase two phase two in phase two we will keep the basis variable at same x1 and x2 we will keep the same table and we will assign the costs the original cost to x1 x2 s1 and s2 and we will eliminate the i artificial variable a1 and a2 so let us form the table So in the basis x1 and x2 their original cost is given as minus 1 and minus 1 so minus 1 and minus 1 you will keep the table same so this is 1 this is 0 this is 0 this is 1 minus 7 by 13 this is 1 by 13 this is 1 by 13 and 14 by 13 no need to write artificial variable because they are eliminated in the first table value of b is 21 by 13 and 10 by 13 so x1 x2 s1 s2 and their cost are minus 1 minus 1 0 and 0 so let us calculate zj zj is minus 1 minus 1 and this is six by thirteen and this will be one okay and so cj minus zj will be zero zero minus six by thirteen minus one all entries are either negative or zero so optimality is achieved so the solution of the given optimization problem is x1 is equal to 21 by 13 and x2 is equal to 10 by 13 so for these two values the asked question is that minimization of z so minimum of maximum of z star is equal to minus 21 by 13 and minus 10 by 13 and minimization of z is equal to 21 by 13 minus 10 plus 10 by 13 which is equal to 31 by 13 so this is the value